So I'm continuing where I left off and I'm going to do the panel now. So move these bits to one side, bring my press back and I'm going to lay the dove coat onto the dry card, the dry panel. Bring it into view so you can see what I'm doing. Reach for my Versafine and just stamp the dove coat onto the card. Just make sure it's completely dry before you do this bit. Quite firm pressure, it's got a lot of detail in there. That's great. So move this to one side. And now for our colouring. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend the, um, the bottom of the dove coat, the pole. So I'm just using my zig fine liner and if you think you can't do this you can just um, with your fine liner sort of just copy some of the lines that are there and when that's coloured it will uh, merge in you won't notice the difference right so i've got a little flower stamp from this set and I'm just going to ink that up and I'm just going to put a bit of this will be greenery either side of the dove coat and then to the colouring I'm going to put this one to one side I've already started one and time is of the essence so I'll just carry on with this one and um, what I'm using I'm using the zig pens as usual and um, I've got cornflower blue, you could use dull blue, both are quite nice, and shadow mauve. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting on some colour and then I'm moving it out with the lighter colour. So I've used the cornflower blue, that one's a little bit dry, let's move on to another one. Okay, so just pull the colour down and I'm also going to use a grey. And again, I'm just trying to get a light colour on here. There we go. And just put my colour on and then pull it over with another colour. So in this case, I'm going to pull it over with the grey. Right, so we'll put a little bit of colour on there. And again, just merge it in with the grey so that it all becomes part of the... So we just merge it in, just blending those colours until you get the effect that you want, as much or as little as you like. Um, right, I'll put a bit more colour on this bit, I think. There we are. And the other thing you can do is you can just use a wet paintbrush if you want to and just pull the colour out if you want to soften it down. That works really well as well. So let's just put a bit more blue down there. And with my wet paintbrush, another way of doing it, just pull the colour out like that. Okay, so now I'm going to put a bit of colour in here. So this is quite bright, that yellow. So to, just to mute it down, I'm going to put a bit of water on each bit and pat it with a kitchen towel. And straight away that goes into the background a little bit more. Um, don't want to spend a lot of time, so I'm just going to put the greenery like on like so. Use a couple of colours of green if you can. And last, you can get into all these little tiny ones. I tend to put a block of colour on for the main bit and then just uh, go into the individual leaves. Now, ideally wait for this to dry. Um, but when it's dry, let's just put a perch there and just merge that in a little bit. Um, when it's dry, then you can use a white pen over the top. This is quite useful, but it will work better when it's dry. Can you see? So you can put a few lines down, as I say, wait for it to dry. And you can just add detail like that. And you can see that makes a difference. 
last but not least, um, you've got lots of elements in this set, but there's a little baby dove if you want it. So just with a little tiny bit of glue on the back there, that can be put into place should you wish. Here we are. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do here is just use my Wink of Stella pens and they come in a pack of 12. Here we go. Let me just bring them over. That's what they look like. And I'm using the pink, but it actually comes out quite red. So um, I'm just going to put some berries on there just to add a little tiny bit more colour. There we go. So there we go. Fin finished panel. And if I can find the original, it's around here somewhere. There it is. That will be glued into place. Although it's quite a simple card, it just takes a little while to add all the details. But um, hope you like it. I think it's uh, a beautiful card. Thank you.